Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved with me, Lathrex. And of course, welcome back to our lovely little raft that we created last time. In today's episode, as you can probably tell by what we're already doing, we are going to be exploring the map a little bit to find a new place to call home. Like I've said before, I'm trying not to use the map, sorry, to use the online maps in any way, so everything we explore is fresh and new and yes I am aware there are several sharks currently heading to our position so let's get out of there and continue forth now the first thing I want to check out is this little mountain here the mountain in the middle of the freshwater ocean of course I call it a freshwater ocean because apparently we can drink it with no ill effects so I'm assuming it's fresh water even though it makes no sense for half of the animals currently in it it's a very bizarre water regardless unless it's something to do with the chip on our hand perhaps there's some law to explain that. Also, I am seemingly propelling this by force of determination alone. There is no way I'm moving this, but it is indeed moving. I can see one of the... is that Dilo or one of the egg creatures? I'm not too sure. Wow, it's like Dodo Island. Well, there's somewhere of interest already. This little island here, I know it's not too fancy, but if that's not connected to the mainland, and it has so many Dodos respawning, it means it's got infinite food in the way of Dodos. I don't mind Dilos being there because, well, they're not exactly hard to kill and hunt as well. And, yep, because it's separated, that's going to be really easy to defend. It's also pretty cosy, so it'll be, e so be easy to make something looking good over there. Oh, wow. Ahem. <clears throat> Parasaur. Don't get in my way. What are you? Is that like a square sun? Top right right now, on the screen. It looks like a square sun, even though the sun's apparently over there. Okay, let's ignore that fact, and focus on the fact that it's clearly a face. Oh, I remember this from the trailer! And there's an animal there. I think it's a scorpion. Yeah, okay, it's a scorpion. I'm guessing this is one of the caves on this map. Let's park ourselves here. Let's just throw a bowler at the scorpion so we don't have to fight it. The scorpion's falling from somewhere. What the hell? Um, let's get a bit further back so we can see it a bit better. I was hoping I could perhaps zoom out a bit more, but my controls are bugging out a little bit right now, which is not exactly... Fo no, seriously, I'm not doing any, any of those movements. Now I am. That was bizarre. Scroll faster. And let's have a look back. Okay. Still want to explore it, though, so let's... Just be very, very careful, because there's always a chance I'm going to be knocked out. So let's make sure I have some stim berries on my hot bar, just in case. Uh, replace the berries. The regular berries. That's very cool. That's also cool. There's smoke coming from somewhere as well. There's like an ice area over there. Is that ice? It looks very light. Kind of wish this was a little bit faster, but of course, until we tame something in the ocean, this is our best bet. And we have docked. The faster we can get in and out, the better. You are hot. No, really? The giant flaming mouth is rather warm? There's clearly a better entrance than the way we're trying to go right now. But again, I don't know that. Can I jump up here? No, okay. So we're going the other way. Looking a little bit clueless right now for people who've actually played on this map a little bit more than me. Ah, uh, that means we're going to have... Ah, oh, we are going to have to go past that scorpion. I know it's over here somewhere. Really, there's no animation for me spinning it if I zoom out? That's silly. Do I actually need to do this? No, I don't. Okay, that's fine. There was at least two scorpions, though, so... Oh, oh crystals! Oh, bats! You can tame bats now, can't you? Oh, metal! Oh, obsidian! Oh, this is awesome being so close. And if we pick that little island... Oh. I'm assuming that a stone pickaxe isn't good enough. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need to make a metal pickaxe soon. So let's just do this. Just get a little bit of metal, just so we can actually smelt it down for just enough to actually craft a pickaxe later. I can't remember how much metal it needs. But I don't really want to come back here. Oh, I need crystal as well, that's the problem. 
Oh wait, can I just harvest crystal? No, you have to harvest the smaller bits of crystal, which you can get in the underwater caves. At least on the main map, I have no idea with this one. Can I actually make the metal pickaxe yet, or is that something I need to do later? I haven't seen the forge. No, the water reservoir. I can't see the forge. It might be there, and I've just gone past it. Doesn't really matter too much right now, anyway. That's not what we're doing today. So we got some metal. Hopefully that's enough. If it's not, oh well, we can always come back. The scorpion apparently is stuck somewhere. If I threw that bowler at that scorpion, would it have drowned? There's a good chance it would have sunk, wouldn't it? I don't know. Okay. I'm going to continue on until I find any more points of interest. I'm going to go over to that little rock formation over there. Then we're going to continue towards the west. Now that I wasn't expecting. I'm actually really fond of islands. There's something about the safety of an island that's just so appealing in this sort of game. And there are islands everywhere. Some small, some apparently quite large. Which does make me a little bit worried, because I have a feeling like something this large will probably host some kind of predator. The last island we saw was only host to Dilos and Dodos. Not exactly the most fearsome combination in the world. But if we can get an island around here, though, it's going to be so useful because of the... Wow, that looks awesome! <laughs> Look at that! With the mist, oh my lord! But yeah, being so close to that, to that mouth is actually really good because it means there's a constant supply of metal and obsidian and crystal just seconds away, even if we just keep with the raft. So if this island is safe enough, we might call it our new home. I see no animals at all. Oh god, that's so bright. Wow, the fog is causing that to be so ridiculously bright. I am going to, I am going to have to lower the gamma. It's a it is a real shame. But I'll do that next time. If I end up choosing to do it. No animals. At all. Is this seriously completely deserted? No way they put an animalless island in the game. Wow, and I thought Herbivore Island was peaceful. Is there a cave or something? Was it just a flat island? That's a little bit boring, honestly. I would like some animal respawn, even if it's for the selfish reason of if there's dodos, there's a constant supply of food. Less so than for looks, but... Oh, hello. Hello. Nope. That's bizarre. I'll keep on having a look around on the island. If I see anything, I will report back. Well, I've explored one side of the island to the next, and there is absolutely no life here. It's completely lifeless. Now, I have a feeling that that little mountain, there's something there. There's something on the mountain of value, or of use, or just something of interest, because it feels so pointless if not. Although it is quite a cool concept, actually having a completely uninhabited island on the game. It's just really weird and out of character for the game, so I'm going to continue on towards the west. There we are towards the west and see if there's anything else of interest. Over there is either a snow biome or just something very reflective. Okay, by the looks of it, there's a couple of small islands or at least some kind of landmass over to the left, although that could just be some weird water refraction. And then we have a couple of supply drops over there. I can definitely get the white supply drop, but the green supply drop is A, in quite a dangerous looking place on the top of the mountain, and B, I'm not even sure what level you need to be to get the green supply drop. Oh my lord, that lightning there. Yeah, by the looks of it, those islands were just weird graphical things, artifacts I suppose, or whatever the actual term is I want to look there. Lightning everywhere. Now I'm hoping that supply drop stays there for a little bit longer. I don't actually have a torch at the moment, I need some flint. There's definitely snow on the top. I really think, it, if it's not then it's very very weird coloured stone. Where are we now? We're getting there. Thankfully the um, the giant evil face is a black splodge on the map, so that's pretty easy to find again. And then that uh, that weird uninhabited island is just next to about 55. Okay. On the longitude. There's animals there, what are they? We have a parasaur freaking out, we have lots of dodos, we have a tricor too. A little bit dark, I admit, and I do apologise for that, but like I say, I am keeping it this dark on purpose, so it actually has a bit of purpose being night time. Well, the supply drop's gone, and I'm going to go ahead and get myself a torch. All, all I need is one flint. 
So we have another island, just like the one earlier, which has Dilos, Parasaurs, and Dodos. Except for this one's a little bit bigger. So it's a little bit more tempting to actually call this one our home if we do choose this one. There we are. So glad you can do that. Craftables. I would very much like a torch, please. Really hoping I didn't have a damaged one then. I just didn't notice. Um, replace the slingshot for now. Can I use this and... Yes, there we go. Probably not burning down my raft, but even so. A couple of sharks. Do sharks attack the raft? Do sharks attack the raft? Oh, it's one shark and now it's fin. Ooh, a manta ray. Or a stingray. I don't know which one it is. It's one of the two. Well, the supply just turned green, so we can find out what that is. I'm just too I'm just too curious what that snow is. So what have we got? Explored a lot of the main island now, at least along the southern tip. That one is way further back than I thought it was, so we're going to go here instead into that little cove. As I get closer, I feel like that is snow less and less. It just seems to reflect the light really, really well. So I have no idea what's going on with that little mountain ridge. It really looked like snow, then it didn't, then it did, and now I'm thinking it doesn't. Oh, is that a swamp? This might be a swamp. Let's have a quick look at this first. I was going to go over there first, but ah, oh, but there's got that lovely supply drop. Okay, supply drop first. Just carry on that way. Have a little bit of a look, see, to make sure. Yeah, that is indeed a swamp. Okay. Hello, little dolphins. Which does make that island a little bit more interesting. Hello, me. I'm guessing that's from the map, isn't it? Me. Yeah, there's me again. Ah, uh, I'm always leaving me everywhere. Swamp. Forest, forest. Okay, but yeah, it does make that island a little bit more interesting because it's next to so many biomes. It's next to the weird mountains that what I think is snow, then I think is light refraction mountains, the weird mountains. It's still pretty close to the face, not close as I would like, but still pretty close. And then it's got this. What on earth is that? It's like ruins or. I want to say ancient... Okay, thank you. I was about to say it's a bit too dark to see, but now it's starting to get light again. Right there, I'm trying to point, but sadly the raft goes with me. I want to say that's man-made. It doesn't look like a rock formation. Well, with that supply drop going down, I guess I could go and explore it, and if it's and if it's too much danger, we can just run away. This weird foggy mist there. Oh, wow, that's pretty. That is de that is snow, yeah. That's that's definitely ice or something. It's white. It's not reflect. Yeah, okay. That is definitely man-made. Look, it looks like marble. You stay. Me go explore. Equip um, bowlers because I'm terrified. You can't run when you're. Oh no! Oh no! You can run with that fully charged. Okay then. We're just going to have my hand going in and out of focus there on the right. A little bit annoying, I admit. I'm probably killing my bit right for the video, but there we are. Excuse me, no one in particular here. Good. Lovely music again. Okay, stairs. We have a parasaur being chased by no one. Now I feel that we need the torch. The staircase to hell. You'd think you'd go down. Hello, Dyla. Not exactly what I was expecting here, but still. Wait, is this it? There's nothing else. Oh, wow. Can we build in here? Some areas you're not allowed to build in, but we could probably wall this off really easily. Then we have this vantage point to see what, what animals are out there. Like the Dimorphodons going past. It also seems pretty safe. I'm not saying it is safe, because I haven't been here long enough to tell, but... Oh, and there's a Kano right over there. Saying that, we have also had Kano's a lot closer to our base currently. Let's quickly build... a... thatch foundation frame. I mean, thatch foundation is easily the cheapest of the options here, and all we need is a little bit of wood, so let's go and make that. There's also settings though, isn't there? Because there's a setting like on a server so you can't build in some caves because you could simply grief people by blocking up entrances. 
but then there's other settings as well for other ca I can't remember exactly how it works. We'll quickly test if, if we can build. If not, I'll go into the main menu for a second and have a quick look-see. Oh no, we can definitely build in here. Oh, I'm very tempted. It's a bit of a generic place, so that's the only problem I've got with this. I'm thinking, I am thinking that if I were to watch other YouTubers play this game, there would probably be a lot of people building here, because it's freaking lovely. And if we can figure out a way to get to the top, that would be cool as well. I mean, look, it comes with a pre-built staircase. I mean, how cool and easy to protect is this? It's a little bit open, because how many entrances there are, but it's not difficult to protect. Hmm. I am tempted to saying all that, though. I am very, very tempted. Just because how nice it does look. There's a reason why I feel like everyone's going to be building there. Just eat, you know, just eat four steaks. Just about five seconds. Seems about right for me. We could test if the bowler works on a trike and then run back to the raft. Um, yeah, I mean, we, could, we can definitely outrun them in the water. Uh, oh, actually, that's pretty good. A bit heavy, but... Just take everything and see if we have enough... Yeah, we're fine. A little bit heavy now, but not too bad. That's a raptor. That is indeed a raptor. Does the bowler work on a raptor? No, it doesn't. Oh, that didn't work. Keep running, you bugger. Don't be chasing me. We definitely hit it because it did the I have been hit animation. Really? That doesn't work on a raptor, though? Wait, I'm thirsty, so I start eating steak. That, yeah. This is why I'm quite heavy set in real life. Can we not move backwards? Turn. Had a boy. There we go. Let's go and see how close we can get. I can't believe the bowler doesn't work on a raptor, though. I mean, I, I didn't think it'd work on a trike. I mean, I was, that's why I, I, I hadn't tried it out before now, but... Hit one of them, please. Okay, that, that definitely hit the trike and did nothing. Oh, wait, no! Look, the raptor's stuck! It does work on a raptor. Yeah. Maybe there's a chance of it just not working. Maybe it's a chance-based thing on certain animals. Either way, that raptor is currently stuck. And we have... Trank arrows. Oh, we could try and tame a raptor. Do we have enough meat with us? We actually do. The thing is, that trike's going to... No, trike isn't going to kill it. I was about to whistle to the rap to the um, raft to see it'll come towards me. No, they're going to okay. They're going to kill each other. We're not taming that anytime soon. We need to find one which is a bit less busy being killed. You know, I, I almost saved you there, Raptor. So I definitely saw it getting hit, but it carried on moving after I hit it. So maybe it's chance space. Maybe it wasn't moving. I just thought it was because it was eating or something. Okay, I may have to do a bit of searching about the bowler to figure out what it can and can't ensnare. I'm going to assume it can ens um, ensnare di um, dimorphodons, but there are several of them here, so... Whoa, this is laggy here. So I don't want to risk that, is what I was going to say. There's the smokestacks. We're getting close to those. Here's all the mist. I don't feel safe here, because this is the kind of place where titan bowers are. I can hear hissing. As soon as I saw- oh, and piranhas. I just saw a very large animal falling off a cliff. Is this where the mist- Whoa! We've gone down to 10 FPS! What on earth is going on here? What are you guys fighting? Insects. <laughs> Poor things. Guess who doesn't feel safe here? It's too inland, although it's technically on the water, it's just, it's so close to the land, if there's a wreck or something, yes I, yes I did see that snake, it can very easily just, ju just meander here and kill us. When, when we're in the deeper water, it's a bit more safe. And yes, I am aware my speech is terrible today still. I, ah, same recording session as the last one. Hello. We may have run into a supply crate. No, it's got like no health left and I can't use it here. Move, move, move. Thank you. Don't want to get off the raft, if I can help it, there we are. And take the flare gun, take the torch, take the single spear, don't care about the rest. Whoa, that was good timing, okay. Continuing on. I see a crocodile. We're still making it through though, I don't like where I'm going anymore. 
I think at this point I'm going to chicken out. Now, now that we're seeing crocodiles, now that we're getting even more inland, it feels like this is the place where Rexes and Carnos are going to be found. It just doesn't feel safe here. And I have a very expensive raft I'm currently on. Hello, frog. How far have we got? Okay, so let's go round now and go back to the outside. Ooh, hello. So there is an island here. Okay, so this is just on the other side of the rock formation we sort of entered, so I didn't see this in the first place. Ah, there are titan boas here. So titan boas, Fiomia, and the large pack animal whose name I can never remember, the one which kind of looks like a rhinoceros giraffe creature. Well, they're there, but of course with the snakes I'm a little bit nervous. But saying that, that is a green supply drop, which is pretty darn awesome. And this is where I was originally heading, which would have took ages to get to, it turns out. Is it worth the risk? I think it is. I can hear snakes, though. Oh, I was one right there. Um, is it worth the risk? I don't know anymore. And for seeing the snakes, I don't think it is. Ooh, Bronto. Is that the first Bronto I've seen so far? Either the first or one of the first. There's a blue supply drop there which I don't trust. Okay, yeah, we're going to go down the coward's route to make sure we survive and we're just going to continue. This is really pretty though. Is that islands over there? I think it is. So it isn't just water tricks. Okay. We're not trusting that. That's a shark. Yeah, sharks don't seem to bother you if you're part of the raft. As soon as you um, unmount, even if you're still on the raft, then they'll start coming towards you. Oh, wow, look at that cliff, though. That would be gorgeous to build on. Look at the trees! It's a really nice tree model. Just Okay, this gets points for looking really serene. I don't know whether, it, whether it's going to be safe up there, though, as this whole area just kind of seems a bit more on the dangerous side. So let's go over here and see if this actually is an island, or is it attached? Oh no, look at that! It's attached all the way to the mainland. Can we get to the other side? Is there actually any way for me to physically get from one side to the other without d dismounting? Ooh, this looks like I shouldn't be here in something easy to sink. Um, Is that a waterfall going down? I think it might be. Oh, Lord. Um, <laughs> this looks a little bit nerve-wracking. I'm going to just wait a second and have a quick look-see and figure out how we're going to pass this, if we even are. Because it seems like if I go down here, I'm not going to be able to get back up. Oh, Lord, we can't actually move backwards. Oh, turn, 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 turn. We're being dragged. We're actually being dragged, are we? Yes. Oh, wow. It all goes into one spot. It's not even like it's going just down. I wish I could fly right now. This must look awesome from the top. So maybe there is a way around if we ignore this giant hole of death. Do you know how tempted I am right now to jump down there to figure out what it is? You know, I don't think I was being dragged. I think it's just the weird controls of the raft. Now, now I'm actually controlling it normally. It feels like it's just the same. Can we get around? Or does it oh, or does it just go straight down? I thought it was all going to one spot there. No, by the looks of it, it just goes straight down, so that's curious. Oh. That was weird. I was hoping to stop there on that rock, but it just kind of carried on. You stay, me look. Nope, definitely going into one spot. The graphics are a little bit glitchy though, I can't see behind it if there's water or something. Yeah, those are some really glitchy graphics. Okay, so that is actually water. I was about to jump down into there to have a look. Is there a way around this? I don't think there is. Well, after having a closer look, it turns out this goes all the way along, at least for as far as I can see, looking in the raft and having a quick run down this stone formation. And if we look at the map, we can also see on the bottom left, near the 20 marker for the longitude, it simply just goes into white, which I assume is this nothingness. It's not even like a lower level of water, it's just 
I drop into nothingness, hence why it's got such a weird kind of um, graphical thing going on at the moment. So, we're going to have to ignore this. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to continue now, sadly. We're either going to have to go on land for a while and see if we can find some water on the other side, although, of course, we sadly can't take our raft. Oh! That makes things easier to actually see where I'm going. Okay, that's pretty nice. Look, I can do this now. Or, we'd go all the way and cycle back towards the right, and then simply go counterclockwise around the island. I think the second option is probably the best, but that's going to take quite a bit of time, which I don't really have today. So, what I think we're going to do is we're going to have a quick look-see, if we can find any more islands we've missed, since we have got a bit of undiscovered land on the way back, then we're going to start making some preparations to take some animals with us. Or we could start going counterclockwise. I'm not too sure just yet. Well, sadly, after looking at the clock, it turns out I'm completely out of time yet again. I have been recording this episode now for over two hours, which is well over one hour more than I originally intended. This was going to be a really short episode of me just looking around, and it turns out there was just too much stuff to look at. So, thank you so much for watching. Next episode, we will figure out a place to live. So far, I'm thinking of either the original Dodo Island, this island here, or those really cool cool looking ruins. Now the ruins have the advantage of looking freaking awesome and being really easy to defend. The Dodo Island is good because infinite meat, infinite hide. And this, and this island here is probably the safest island I've ever seen, unless there's something weird about it, which I'll have to find out off camera. So, with that, thank you so much for watching, and I would like to also add, so I'm adding a lot of stuff to this outro, there may be a bit of a gap between this episode and the next. As many of you know, if you have watched the channel updates, I am having to go back to England for a few reasons which were covered in the update. Completely out of my hands, not my choice, and I'm either going to be there for four days or all the way to ten days, so I'm not sure when the next arc will come out, but it will come out as soon as I have the chance to actually record. I'm going going to try and get my computer moved down there, getting a, um, a movement van thing hired to actually get that to happen, but it might not be able to happen in time. So, a bit of a weird outro, very, very long, evil face in the background. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the episode, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Ark Survival Evolved is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Next time, more evil faces.